All right, hello, this is Mrs. Alice, and we are going to talk about the world religions at 1500. We are going to look at the founder, the major beliefs, the sacred text, the location, and the number of followers today, not the number of followers in 1500. All right, so we are going to get started with Buddhism. All right, Buddhism was founded by Siddhartha Gautama, who is more commonly known as, as the Buddha, and the religion is named after him, that's why it's called Buddhism. And Buddha, for those of you who don't remember from last year, means enlightened one. Beliefs, they believe in the Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, and the writings of Ahsoka's missionaries. If you don't remember who Ahsoka is, he was a prince in India who became a follower of Buddhism, and he had missionaries travel outside of India to spread Buddhism, and ironically, Buddhism never took hold in India. India is a Hindu country, but Buddhism becomes extremely important in China and other areas around China. The sacred text of the Buddhists is the Tripitaka, and the location is it is mainly practiced through East and Southeast Asia, meaning East Asia, China, Southeast Asia, places like Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos. Um, there's also Buddhism in Japan. And the number of followers is 356 million. And this picture right here is an artistic depiction of the Buddha. Uh, and there are Buddhas that you can see all over uh, the world. And they range in like many, many different sizes. Um, and they're very, very interesting because they all look different. There's not one type of Buddha statue or painting. They can be very different. All right, next up we're going to talk about Christianity. Christianity was founded by Jesus. Uh, their major beliefs is they believe Jesus was the Son of God. Uh, they're monotheistic, which means they believe in one God. And they believe in the New Testament, which is the second half of the Bible, which talks about the life and works of Jesus and his followers. So the sacred text of Christianity is the Bible, uh, location, Europe, North and South America, Southern Africa, and Australia and the number of founders founders the number of followers is 2 billion all right next up we're going to talk about Hinduism Hinduism's founder is unknown meaning that there's not one particular person who's credited with founding Hinduism but it is thought that Hinduism was brought to India from Central Asia by a group called the Aryans um, their major beliefs is they believe in many forms of one God so um, they believe that they have one uh, universal God, but it can take many, many different forms. So they're considered to be polytheistic. They believe in karma. Karma is what goes around, comes around. So the actions you have on earth during this life affect your next life. So they believe in reincarnation. And if you lived a good life, you will be reincarnated into a higher caste. And if you lived a not so good life, you may be reincarnated into a lower caste. So, obviously, uh, Hindus believe in the caste system. The sacred text is the Vedas. Their location is India, and they have 799 million followers. All right, next up we have Islam. Islam was founded by Muhammad. Uh, they're monotheistic along with Christianity and Judaism, which we are going to talk about in a minute. Uh, they believe in the five pillars and that Mecca and Medina are their holy cities. Uh, the sacred text is the Quran, which, as you can see from the screen, can be spelled in two different ways. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, their location uh, is the Middle East and North Africa, and their followers today is 1.1 billion. It's the second largest religion after Christianity. Our, oh, we'll go this way. Last but not least, we have Judaism. Its founder is Abraham. They are also monotheistic. They believe in the Ten Commandments, which are also followed by Christians. Their sacred text is the Torah, and the Torah is uh, what makes up the Old Testament of the Bible. Uh, their concentrations of followers today are in, or sorry, in 1500 are in Israel, um, and uh, today they are also found in parts of North America, and their followers are 14 million, and they are by far the smallest of the uh, five major religions today. So that is a good overview of uh, the five major religions. Please use this information to fill in your 
chart that you were given in class, and I'm going to make one last little announcement. This is a shout out to Mrs. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, say hi to Mr. Alice. Oh, I can't get my head to work. Hold on. There you are. There he is, waving. That's Mr. Alice. Hi, Mr. Alice. All right. And then we have this shirt that Miss Cook gave me. All right. So it's from The Big Bang Theory. So if you guys are ever feeling sick, you could watch this video. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. And then, hold on. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. All right. Have a good night. See you later.